All right, welcome back. Um, the next fly that we're going to type is going to be the Putenbaugh dried Putenbaugh foam caddis. It's a uh, caddis dry fly. It's a cool little fly because it is tied obviously with foam, so it's uh, it's going to float really well and it's uh, it's quite durable. So let's go ahead and get started. This is on a size 14 hook, size 14 standard dry fly hook, and I'm going to tie the thread down I'm using brown thread in this in this fly. And I'm not even going to cover the entire the entire hook. I'm going to go up to about three quarters of the length of the hook. I've got a piece of black uh, piece of black foam, and I've cut it fairly small. You can see it's not quite square, um, but I'm going to lay it down with the flat side with the with the widest side up, and we're going to tie down over the top of that. And want to get make sure you get it tied down tight enough so that the foam doesn't spin at all on you. Okay. Now we're going to tie a wing in. You can tie this in a variety of colors. I usually or I guess I do tie them in uh, with black foam, with with a dark brown foam, with tan, even tied some with orange, orange foam. What I'm doing now is just taking my uh, my dyed elk hair, and I like the dyed elk hair because you can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna I want this wing to be about the length of the hook, so usually I'll measure it out and then lay it down. Few wraps over the top, and then try to scoot your thread forward and make a few wraps. And it's gonna look it's gonna look pretty nasty at this point, but that's fine because we're just gonna cut all that hair off. Okay, once you get the hair cut. And I usually go over the top of it just to clean it up so it looks good. And the last thing, we need to tie in our hackle. I've already trimmed the tips off of this piece of hackle. I'm going to lay it down right on top of the, the fly. And one wrap in front of the bef one before. Usually it doesn't take more than about three or four wraps to get the look that you want. Let's add in... Oh, shit. Well, that didn't work. It brings up a good point, actually. So, if you saw what happened, my thread slipped off of the knot at the end. So we're going to try this again. And do something to keep that from happening. So same thing, one wrap in front of the one before. Make a few wraps to hold that off. And there we go. Okay. Now let's trim this up a little bit. All right, and as you noticed, we tied the uh, when we tied the foam in. We tied it in quite a bit longer. I'm not sure how far you can see on that, but tied it in quite a bit longer than it needs to be. We're going to trim that so it's basically the same length as the uh, as the wing. Come right underneath and trim it off.
and then add a little bit of, obviously add a little bit of head cement at the top and that's your finished fly. That's the Putin Boss Foam Caddis.